If you like film photography, slide film, medium format cameras and beautiful landscapes like this, then this is definitely the video for you. Welcome, my name is Stephen and in today's video we're going to be doing some medium format photography with a Mia 6MF and Fujifilm Vevi 50 and we're going to be photographing Mount Taranaki at the beautiful Lake Mangamahoe. Look at those reflections and that beautiful scene. I really hope you enjoy the video. Well, we let me look this morning because the I can see no clouds right now. There is hardly any wind. Look at that. Perseverance pays off. Patience. Revisiting your locations. Even though I was here a few months ago and I got a shot but I waited around a long time and the shot wasn't that great. I found a great location and I've returned and now look at it. A beautiful volcano, snow capped with some low level cloud halfway up the volcano a really flat mirror-like lake with a beautiful reflection there's no clouds in the sky other than what's around the volcano so this one could be a little bit special let's get set up You'll be pleased to know that my new film camera's arrived. A new Mamiya 6MF, well it's not brand new, but the condition of it is, it looks like it's brand new. So I'm very excited to have received this. My other one's gone to Precision Camera Works in America for repair. I still don't have my 50 millimeter lens. That's uh, stuck in Australia, um, but I don't need that this morning. This morning's all about telephoto lenses. So we're gonna get the Mamiya 6 set up and we're going to put the 150mm lens on and I think this morning we're going to shoot some Velvia 50 because I think Velvia 50 is going to do a great job of capturing as much light as possible in the sky so let's load up the film oh my god can you see that? There's fog rolling in. Wow. What time is it? Twilight's starting now. The direction of the light is over, over that way. So it's, it's kind of side light. We're going to get side light this morning. We haven't shot Velvia 50 on this channel for quite a while. So got my new film camera, Velvia 50. Let's do some photography. So we're locked and loaded, just set the ISO to ISO 50, set to bulb, let's get my meter set up, ISO 50, F8, infinity of focus, so we are going to take our first meter reading, using the light meter, just working out where the brightest part of the scene is, and it's the sky at 2 seconds, put that into the memory, shadows, 40 seconds, wow. So that's four stops of dynamic range on the meter. What is the water? So I just want to check. So we've got one stop of 
difference between the sky and the water. Average that out, gives us eight seconds. So we just need to evaluate the scene now. Sky is plus 2.4, water is 1.4, shadows are minus two. So I'm gonna to wanna to lift them up by, tell you what, we'll do a few exposures, eh? I'm gonna do one exposure as the meter reads at eight seconds. So we do need to get our reciprocity timer going. Where is it, Velvia 50, eight seconds. It becomes 11 seconds. Open the curtain, everything's working. That's it. First exposure done on the brand new camera and it works. <laughs> okay, so we are going to set our filters up. We're gonna try a grad filter just to protect the sky. So the difference between the water and the sky is about one stop. And the sky and the shadow areas, average that out, gives me five seconds. And the shadows are minus two. And I want to bring them up to, so they're zero. So I need a two stop grad and ND filter. I'm going to go medium edge. One of the questions I've had quite a bit um, on my channel is about using filters with range finders. And you can't look through the viewfinder to see the grad. So you have to guess. And there is a process that works and you have to kind of visualize by looking through the viewfinder you have to see where the horizon is and then just by looking through the viewfinder you literally just line it up and it's get it's, it's just a guesswork i know that my horizon there is in the middle of the frame so if i put the if i put the line on the grad filter roughly in the middle it's going to work out okay so that's what we're doing here we're just checking that it's in the middle and it is and there's some steam rolling through now, which is nice. Mist, steam, whatever you want to call it. So that looks about right. So I'm going to put that on there. Oh. Well, I've just broke my cable release. <laughs> what a pain in the ass that is. Anyway. So to get the grad filter to line up, then we just look at the line on the filter and we just align it up with the horizon and then just lock it into place and that works so we're going to do our meter reading now 10 seconds average out two and a half seconds reciprocity timer plus two stops two and a half seconds 19 seconds i hope this cable release works it seems to be working set So the sun is going to come up at 5.58, which is eight minutes away. So we're going to get set up and wait for that. And I'm just dropping in, just rechecking my grad filter. Not that I've changed position, but I just want to be sure. I'm just going to put it down a bit in anticipation of some brighter light in the sky. That looks right. Half a second exposure. Oh. My cable release is well and truly broke. Some quite nice ripples on the water now. And a bit more mist rolling through. It'd be nice if the mist was just a little bit thicker. I suspect that as the sun rises, the air temperature may change. We may see some ripples. So we are now starting to get the first light on the peak there. So we are going to take a photo of this. Just rechecking my exposure. Now the light on the snow peak is the brightest, 25th of a second. Shadow areas, 0.4 seconds. Average that out. 
eighth of a second exposure. We've got two stops for the polarizer and two stops of exposure compensation, which gives us a one second exposure at F5. And there we go. It's as beautiful as that. A little bit of cloud rolling in now around the, just below the peak. So hopefully, as the sun comes up, hopefully that will catch some light. Fingers crossed. So the swans have just moved out my frame. Perfect. The good thing about the Mamiya 6 it has it has a 10 second timer built in. So even though my cable release is broke and I don't need to do long exposures anymore, I can use the 10 second timer. Average out, 40th of a second. And it works. Yep. I'm really hoping Velvet 50 does a great job of emphasising the colours in that sky on those clouds right now. How good does that look? Patience, perseverance, faith, Revisit the locations, revisit your failures. In some ways you have to look for your failures and go out sometimes knowing that you might fail, but you might find a location that you can return to in the future. And there we go. Beautiful. What a morning. We've only shot one location, as in one tripod position. But I've been here before, so I know what works best. And this location is the best. I like the way that the trees sit below the mountain and pretty much the volcano slap bang in the middle of the, of the composition there. 12 exposures of Fuji from Velvia 50 complete. What a beautiful morning it's been. I'm so, so lucky to be able to grab this shot this morning. This mountain, Mount Taranaki, has a reputation for being in cloud most of the time. And the last two months we've been in lockdown and I've been eager to get out and the lockdown ended uh, a day ago and I've been monitoring the weather and I saw a weather window in Taranaki and I knew that I had to come back to Taranaki to get some more shots of Mount Taranaki for my book because I haven't got many photos of this mountain. So I just jumped packed my car and made my way down here last night, camped over and lo and behold the weather predictions were right and we've got ourselves a beautiful reflection shot of Mount Taranaki. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like and give me some comments on the photos and I will see you next time. Bye for now, take care.